Hi everybody, this is Clayton from International Connector. Um, wanted to show you a, uh, a video about some jumpers on our Denrail Terminal Blocks site. So this is a four inch piece of aluminum rail. Our rail has uh, is one inch center to center on these spacing uh, mount holes. So when you've got the four <clears throat> mounting holes in it, it's four inches long. I've got two different series of blocks here. This is the DK2.5N dinkle block, and this is the DK6N dinkle block. So the 2.5 gets its name from 2.5 millimeters squared. It's a 12 gauge largest block for us, so it's a 12 to 22 gauge. If you're ever curious about the specs, a lot of times people want to look it up or you know have a catalog on hand. But just so you know, it is mounted on, it is printed on the front of the block. So you can see it's a DK2.5N. And if you look closely at it, it's 600 volts, 20 amps, and it is 22 to 12, and that's you all recognized at 22 to 12, 20 amps, and 600 volts. Now you can see that that's gonna be a <clears throat> thinner and smaller block than this DK6N, which has a jump, it's the same as the 600 volts, but it jumps up to 50 amps, and the gauge that it accepts is eight to 20. So it doesn't go quite as small as the 22, but it jumps up a couple of sizes up to the eight gauge. But you can see not only is this one a taller block, so it's got a larger profile, it's also <clears throat> thicker. So that center to center is larger. You're not gonna get as many of them on a rail. But the thing that comes up every once in a while is people uh, don't realize that they need different jumpers for the different series. So they think that they could use one jumper. So sometimes people buy the wrong jumpers because they don't think that they have to size them up with the block. Now, obviously, if you've got <clears throat> two DK 2.5Ns, I guess I'll mount it on the rail here just so it's a little more sturdy and not sliding around. These clip on very snug, which is really nice. Okay. So this is the jumper for it, which fits perfectly in there. Pop that in. Here, click. About flush with the top. Now, if I were to try it with this one, it's not going to work because that pin A doesn't fit in there, and B, right, it's made for a block that has a wider center to center spacing. So, every once in a while, people end up kind of sending these back to me. You can always reach out to me, uh, Clayton at intconnector.com, and I can always help you make sure that you get the right parts. But, these are also printed on here, just so you know. So if you happen to have some on hand, you don't know. It's kind of small, but it is on there on the installation. This is a DSS6N-02P. So that 6 is going to be the key in the part number at the beginning. The 02P is, you know, 2-pole. If this was a 10-pole, it would be a 10P. If it was a 5-pole, it would be a 05P. Um, but the beginning is going to give you that size, right? So we've got our 8-gauge block is a DK6N. Once again, getting the name from, you know, six millimeters squared because everything's Euro standard for these blocks. Now, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and mount these on here. Oh, we got the orange and the blue. Go Gators. That's nice bright colors. Now, this one's, so you can't go from here to here because that won't work. It's just not going to go down in that block. The spacing's not right, but you can do two that are in the same series. It's gonna start there, that's how you set it in there. You just set it in there, even then it's not falling out. But there we go, fell right out. But if you go in here like this, that's where it starts, and we push it in. Here, click, there we go. Now it's nice and flush. So just keep in, keep in mind about the jumpers. You know, that you need to make sure that you're getting the right size, the right part number. These being the press fits for the DK6N and DK2.5N are going to be a DSS2.5N and a DSS6N. So that's how jumpers work. If you have any questions, um, reach out to us below. Give us a like. We're always looking for new content to put out there to help people on their journey of fixing things and wiring up things in a nice, neat and tidy manner. Hope you have a great day.